here is the Hargrave machine company case and we are going to run Excel server to, to find the answer for this linear programming. So as I did before, you know, we start with objective function. You know, once you de define all the things, uh, the rest is kind of a uh, matter of just running the result. So first I want to run objective function and then constraints and then, you know, run the Excel server and that will derive uh, uh, the answers from the Excel server. So we see from this objective function, we have x11 to x44. So this is what I did. You know, I just typed x11 to x44 and how many? I think it's uh, uh, 12 variables, I believe. So um, that's what I have here. And then the corresponding coefficient for this is uh, Seattle case. So I entered the Seattle um, coefficient from objective function, 73, 103, and so forth. And then 80 here and at the end. And then the objective function is minimized to the total cost. And I use some product function and then chose this coefficient and then the um, variables that I have that. And then constraints, I just enter this coefficient here in this table uh, like that. And uh, after entering it, I also use this sum product function. Notice that I fixed these variables. I use absolute reference by adding dollar signs. And then just simply copy that uh, to the end of the row. And then I also put this sign, all equal sign, and then supplies are less than equal to. And then right hand side, 10,000, 12,000, and so forth, I entered. And this is how I set my uh, Excel server format up. And now I can run, um, run it. So go to data and Excel server. And here, um, the objective function is this one, error seven. And then minimize the cost changing variables are this and then add constraints left hand side and the sign is equals then right hand side add left hand side equal and right hand side so you repeat this until you do do that for all of the constraints. So I'm adding them. And then we have fifth constraints and the sign is less than equal to x. So I'm going to just leave it. Then so I'm going to keep on adding. I have only two more. 14,000 and then there 11,000 so I added them all so I check so the sign is good the numbers are matching the row number column numbers are matching and less than equal to 16 17 18 19 that's good so make unconstrained variables non-negative choose simplex linear programming and then I'm ready to run the solver. So I'm going to solve it. It's running. It takes some time because we have 12 variables and it's running and I want to answer and sensitivity analysis. Choose them and it ran the result. And the dollars, you know, this pound sign means um, you can make it bigger. That's what it means. So I just highlight them and uh, click on this line in between the columns, then it expands the cell size um, automatically. Then I have the result. The answer that I have for the Seattle is uh, $3,704,000. That's what, what I get. And uh, from X1 to 1, in other words, um, Cincinnati to Detroit, 10,000. 
and x12 is uh, 4,000, x13, 1,000, x14, what is 14? 1 is the, uh, Cincinnati, 4 is Los Angeles, no need for uh, shipping. So, so those information you can find exactly using um, linear programming. Now, this is the first option. The second option is that we have to run another linear programming with um, Birmingham option rather than Seattle option. So we have to change things around and do Birmingham option. So let's go to Birmingham option. And uh, let's see where it is. OK, here is Birmingham option. So for forming an option, look at here, 84, 79, 90, and 91. So the coefficient for the cost, right? So the, the shipping cost, not only shipping cost from Birmingham to um, uh, Detroit and Dallas and uh, New York and Los Angeles, we have now 35 plus 49, right? because that's the production cost. Uh, this column label has to be switched. So 35 plus 49 gives you 84, and, and 30 plus 49 gives you 79, 41 plus 49, 90, 50 plus 49 is uh, actually, this one has to be 99. right, 99. And then um, the rest of them are the same, uh, especially the Birmingham supply is 11,000. So it's the same. And you have to just run it again and go to solver. And I set everything up there. And this is right there. So I'm going to, um, everything is set up as, as it was. So I'm going to run it. And it's running. I need answer and sensitivity report. And I find that it's 3,741,000. So before it was 3,700 something thousand. So let's see Seattle model. So there's 3,704,000. But this time, um, this one, Birmingham, is 307, 3,741,000. So it's uh, slightly. Uh, more costly than Seattle model, so you may want to go with Seattle model, right? So that's the, your decision. So that's the first thing. And how much should I ship from where to where, right? That information is given right here. So you want to use this one as your information. So, so that's another answer. Third thing that I want you to see is sensitivity report. So if you go to answer report, all of them are binding, so it's not that meaningful, so all of them are important. And now you see here is demand um, uh, shadow price, and I want to highlight them. And here it is supply shadow price. So I'm going to slightly different color. Right. So now, what does it mean by one or three? For example, Dallas. You know, one unit of demand increase in Dallas, then um, your uh, you have no room to increase. However, one unit of demand decreases in Dallas, then that kind of saves uh, um, saves your your um, cost by $103. So the demand in uh, Dallas is kind of hard to meet uh, because uh, it's expensive to meet the demand in Dallas in current situation. That's what it means. So, um, you know, if it is decreased by 4,000, it's kind of saving money for, uh, the, for, for your company. And uh, in terms of Supply, when supply increases by one, 
in Salt Lake City, then the total cost will decrease by $23. So there is a saving in decreasing supply, I'm sorry, in increasing supply in Salt Lake City. Um, probably it's because of the cost advantage that you have in Salt Lake City. So that's another thing that you can look and up to 4,000 units, you can handle that or this uh, shadow price is relevant. And according to this uh, uh, data, you can see that, oh yeah, you know, probably Salt Lake City uh, and uh, Seattle might be a good place to utilize for supply reduction uh, or su supply increase, increasing supply, you know, as a, a more or better location to use uh, and even increase the capacity. And in, in contrast, you know, Dallas is uh, uh, kind of, you know, even though there is one more uh, demand there, it's not as profitable as the other places like Detroit. So um, if there is a demand, say you have only one item and uh, both Detroit and Dallas are requiring that, then obviously your decision is to send it to Detroit if, you, if, if money, profit is your priority. So that, that information we can learn from this sensitivity analysis.